everyone, I'm back. The salsa is finished processing. The jars have boiled in the boiling water canner for 20 minutes. <coughs> After the 20 minutes is up, I like to turn the heat off and let the jars sit in the water for just a few minutes. And then I pull them out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them out of the canner and I'm going to place them on a dish towel. And they are going to remain on this dish towel for 24 hours undisturbed. And the reason why you do this is because you want to make sure to not bother with the sealing process. So once you put them on your dish towel, make sure you use a dish towel or a canning rack, something to help protect the jars. You don't want to put, put them directly on the cold counter because that can actually cause the jars to crack. So anything, any kind of change in temperature can warp the glass and cause it to crack. So use a dish towel or a bath towel or a cooling rack to set your heart jars on when you're canning just to give them some added cushion and protect them from the cold, your cold kitchen counter. So I'm using my jar lifter. Make sure you use one of these. Like I said, you can buy these separately at the big box stores or you can order them online. Comes in a kit if you want to get the kit with the funnel and the magnet sticker and everything. But make sure you have this because these jars are so hot and you do not want to touch these with your bare hands. Don't even skip trying to touch, skip buying a jar lifter and trying to touch them with your, with a dish towel because the heat is just so hot and I don't want you guys to burn yourself so remember be safe in the kitchen use your jar lifter to lift your jars up and we're going to lift them up place them on the dish towel and they're going to stay on this dish towel for 24 hours undisturbed the kit I think I spent maybe maybe six dollars on the canning kit I think I got it from Walmart or Target I'm not sure it's been a while since I brought that kit I actually need to get a new kit because my jar lifter the uh, the rubber on it is kinda peeling back and it's tearing up so I need to get a new kit and I think I'm, there's a nice one I see on Amazon I'm gonna get that one but make sure if you're canning make sure you uh, invest in the canning that uh, kit because you do not want um, to grab these hot jars with a dish towel because you're going to burn yourself. So make sure you use one of them. And here's the last jar. You're going to hear your jars make a popping sound. The lids, excuse me. And that's just letting you know that the sealing process is working. Um, after 24 hours, check your jars to make sure they're sealed properly. And the way you check them is you push down on the top of the lid where this little indentation is. And if it does not flex up, if it stays down, your jars are sealed. If it doesn't stay down, you can either go ahead and reprocess the salsa again you're gonna to have to heat it up again use a brand new lid do not use the same lid and process it again if it still doesn't work stick your salsa your jars in the fridge you can keep it in the fridge and use it but do not put your your can lids on the shelf if your jar failed in canning because that means it's not sealed and bacteria can grow and you can get sick so make sure after 24 hours, make sure your jars are sealed, and then you can store them on the shelf. This rule has been kind of uh, controversial in the canning world. Some people can store their, their jars on their canning shelf without the rings. Some people leave the rings on. And the reason why they say to take your rings off is because you can see if any rust forms. I store my can my canned goods on the shelf with the lids off. This is a personal optional choice. I recommend you storing them on the canning um, your in your cabinet, your pantry, or whatever without the lids. But it's up to you. I really, really recommend that you purchase a Ball Blue Book. It's good for beginning canners. Um, they have a lot of great recipes. 
I definitely recommend, let me see if I can find it without destroying this cookbook stack. I recommend you invest in this book. It's got some great recipes in it. It's got your canning how-tos. It's got, you know, um, it goes over stuff like this, your headspace. It goes over uh, your equipment that you need to get started. It has recipes in here. It's got sections. Um, tells you how to can. You know, um, there's a lot of things that are low in acid. Tomatoes have tons of acid. This is low acid section. Tomatoes have tons of acid. And then also I use vinegar in the recipe. So that's acid. So you can boil the salsa in a boiling water canner. If you're canning things like carrots, corn, and green beans, and meats, and things with low acid, you have to use a pressure canner um, because you want to make sure that you're able to raise the temperature the correct way, and you can't achieve that in a boiling water canner. It's just not going to get hot enough. But if you use a pressure canner, you can achieve that. So make sure, if you're new to canning, get this book. I can't stress it enough. Make sure that you can the right way. Do not try to can chicken soup in a boiling water can. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to get sick. And don't listen to people say, oh, I never got botulism. Oh, my family never got sick. We're okay. I've been canning chicken in a boiling water can for years. I'm telling you right now, do not try it. Get you a, a pressure canner if you're serious about canning and you want to can meats. Meats have to be pressure canned. I can't stress it enough. Do not try to cook canned meats in a boiling water canner. Y'all are going to be sick. So I'm, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just going to make sure you guys can the right way. I'm new to pressure canning. The only thing I've pressure canned so far is chicken soup. But if you're really going to get serious about canning, make sure you can the right way and make sure you buy this book. And this book has everything you need as far as your rules and... It just tells you everything. It's great. And um, you can order this book online. They sell the Ball Blue books in a lot of the book sections of your, most of your stores. It's got a lot of great recipes. You even got some dehydrating recipes and how to freeze stuff the proper way. So I can't stress it enough. If you're new to canning, buy this book. It'll help you out a lot. Um, and then here's my canning rack. I'm going to show you all real quick. Ava's calling me, so i got to go tend to her. But you can see, this is how I store my jars after they're processed, no lids. This is what I prefer to do. And you can see I got a lot of stuff canned up. The jar, the, my canning rack is getting filled. So, and I've got some homemade wines down there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying to can up and fill my canning rack for the winter. And this is our storage now I'm telling you, if you want to save money and you got a garden or you got access to some good fresh produce, can up all your stuff and um, you'll have a little stash like me. I got peaches, apple pie filling, pears, apple butter, pear butter. I've got my spaghetti sauce, got an arsenal of salsa. I'm telling you, half of this will be gone by December, maybe November. We eat a lot of salsa. Chicken soup, pickles, diced tomatoes, I've got syrups, i got a little bit of everything, so. That's my little cannon stash. Well, I'm going to end the video right here because i got to tend to Miss Ava Bug. If you have some questions about canning, y'all just leave me a message on my Facebook page. I just wanted to show you my salsa as me pulling it out of the canner. Canning is easy. Start out with something simple. Salsa is pretty easy. Jelly is easy too, um, but if you have questions about canning, just leave me a message. Um, there's some serious canners on my page. You can hear the popping. There's some serious canners on my page that have been canning way longer than me. And if you ask a question, if I don't get to it, they'll probably see it first. Trust these people. Um, Karen Master and Terry, trust them. They've been canning for a long time. There's some other canners on my page. And so they know a lot more than me. So if they answer the questions, trust them. Because they've been canning for a long time. And, you know, they have, both of them have helped me out a lot when I first got started canning. 
and I still ask them questions for recipes and how to's and you know I've got canning troubleshooting I can always go to them so if you see those two ladies um, and they answer your question you got a canning question trust them and this is coming straight from my mouth they those ladies know how to can and I'm telling you I've been to Terry's house I've seen her canning she's got a canning room that she's a master can a big time canner and so is Karen Karen's got canning stuff jars everywhere and she's both of them have given me canned goods and it, 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 both of the items have all the stuff's been delicious so if they answer a question that you might ask me out and see it right away trust them because they know their stuff but I'm gonna leave the video I'm gonna end it right here because I gotta go tend to Miss Ava Bug love y'all I hope you enjoyed the two videos on how to make salsa I hope this encouraged you to try canning Yes, it's a little time consuming, it's a little work, but it is well worth it. I hope y'all enjoyed the videos. Talk to y'all later. Have a good Tuesday evening. Bye!